Hi Scorpios, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. Let's do your reading for the month of September 1st and 2nd week bonus. This is going to be a general reading. So take what resonates and what does not resonate. For more personals, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. I also provide previous spells for highest good. And we have Energize Pure, Intention Charge and High Vibrational Crystals. Which you can use to manifest your dreams and we have crystals of high grade quality check out more on my instagram follow my instagram for all the updates and free predictions every month do not forget to like share subscribe and comment to my channel which is i enigma and main channel i enigma scorpio and i enigma hindi sun moon rising or venus sign scorpio dealing with one let's see your bonus messages Scorpio. Someone at your workplace, very, very rich and successful, doing really well in their career, is planning to make a move. Like they want to get to know you. They're watching you. They're wondering what's going on with you. They're interested in knowing like what's happening with you in your life and who you are. This person is intrigued by your personality. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yes. Possibly they are planning to ask you out, but they're wondering whether this is a good idea or not. Yeah, this person is definitely planning to ask you out. They want to spend time with you. I feel your dating period is becoming, dating game is becoming very strong in the month of September. You're going to be dating. You're on this person's mind. See what else? Oh, I feel like you don't want to talk to this person for some reason, or you're just not paying attention to this person. They want your attention so bad. This could be a Pisces. Yeah, you're the wish come true. You're the wish fulfillment. They want to be with you. They want to spend time with you. Maybe you know who this person is, but you block them, or you just completely uh, ghosted them. Because you thought that there's no future here. So you left the situation. According to them, they feel like you ghosted them. Or you had to block this person because of their nuisance. I'm sensing there's someone that expected you to come after them. Okay, but this didn't happen. You didn't go after this person. You stayed, you know stayed your ground you stood with your self-respect you didn't let yourself down because of this reason i feel like this person wants to give up on this ego battle and wants to come towards you they have been waiting for you from years or months but this person has been watching you and they see you being successful they can see you doing good they can see you making more friends being happier so they want to be your friend, actually. So it's a new beginning here, I'm seeing. The star. I'm seeing this person wanting a new beginning for sure. This is someone that misses you. This could be an Aquarius. Yeah, they miss you. I feel like they were attracted to you initially as well, but they didn't speak. They were closed off. They're still attracted to you. I feel like if you think that they were not attracted to you, they were and they're still. But this time, the thing is, they didn't make a move earlier. They're now making a move towards you because the attraction is definitely has gotten increased. Why did this reason, uh, why did this person didn't make a move earlier? Why didn't they make a move earlier? Either they were in a marriage or they were already engaged or you guys belong to a different background or status. That's the reason why they didn't make a move towards you. Taurus energy, Libra energy. Yes, they also had other options. 
their family was interested in someone else for this person. I feel they were talking to other people. But none of these options were making them feel like home. So they kept on missing you. Every time they met someone new, they kept on missing you. This is the reason why they're coming towards you. Earlier, you were in this energy. You're still in this energy. You're like you're not giving this person a chance to decide. You want this person to come towards you only if they decide to be with you. Otherwise, you don't have time. So you come off as stubborn. As if you don't have time for experimentation. So this person knew that if they had to come towards you, they have to be in this uh, energy of being there. You know, being there for you and not be there for someone else. They knew it that they had to follow some rules with you. So you were setting strong boundaries. I feel like you kept the no contact situation going on. But I feel like this no contact situation really helped you to focus all the energy to yourself and make something out of your life. So you have become very, very focused, successful, goal oriented, doing really well in your life. Why this person is still watching you and wondering like, wow, and how is this Scorpio managing so well? They are not. They literally lost themselves. They kept on listening to other people telling them, no, this is not a good connection. You should not go for it. They listened to those people. Because of this reason, they were left alone. They don't have a true friend. They don't have a person that they can rely on except you. But you is you are someone that they rejected. This is why they're hurting. They're guilty, they're hurting. They should have shown their emotions earlier. That's what they're talking to themselves. That's what they're saying to themselves. This could be someone through your work. You met them through your work. Or you guys are on the same page when it comes to your money matters, success, and all of these things. The king of swords and the moon. The page of cups. The empress. Yes, I knew it. Scorpio, there's a third party. Two people. That has caused this person to stay away or move away from you. Or the reason behind this fight or this separation was because there are two people that they can't trust that have been gaslighting them against you two people one man one woman married or unmarried could be but yeah cancer energy someone cancer someone cancer an older female married libra gemini aquarius energy they have been putting a lot of things into their mind against you and this person is innocent to be honest this person is someone that listens to older people because they think that older people are more experienced they heard and they left you and they had to leave you and you felt like they ghosted on you and you don't know why this happened because you did nothing to offend this person but still they left you tried to stop them but they left but when they left they got time to know about you in your absence, to know who you are, to check on your Instagram, to check on your social media and see how you, you know, live your life. And they kept on looking for other options, but none of these options could replace you, to be honest. All of these were obsessed with this person's money, Capricorn energy. They're shy. This person is someone that wants love, but they unfortunately were always attracting people interested in money and love. So they always thought of coming towards you, but stopped themselves. They were hesitant. They didn't know how you would react to this. Capricorn energy. This is someone extremely insecure. They have confidence issues as well. That is why they trust people easy. They have confidence issues and that is the reason why they just couldn't believe in themselves and come towards you. Their gut instinct was telling them there's something more to the Scorpio. Don't listen to these people. But they did. Because also they don't see themselves as capable of you. They still don't. 
there you go the nine of swords energy in the end definitely this person is hurting they are anxious they are not sleeping well they're worried they're worried of losing you to someone else the emotions are increasing the more they're watching you they're realizing who you are as a person you're not obsessed you're not desperate you're not you know money minded this is something that has opened this person's eyes it opened they found out that you're the most loving person on earth I know that's cheesy, but that's true. Some of you, this could be a Leo. They have now understood that you came to this person with an energy of love, not with an intention to ruin them or use them. And this is why they feel super guilty. Super guilty. That doesn't mean that you're going to take this person back, but that does mean that this person is finding you more beautiful than they ever found you before because they know your truth now. They didn't know your truth earlier. What is their next move towards you? Is this person going to make a move? Let me see. I'm seeing this person will make a move around October and they'll tell you that they really love you and they really like you and they want to take things forward but you'll still see that this person is not fully opening up they'll still keep this uh a little on and off because their ego is coming between them and their desire you're their desire and their ego is something that's causing them them trouble they still have to learn a lot about how to open up emotionally fully they have expression uh, issues. I feel like this person is not able to express what's going on with them. But they will express pretty much more than what they did in the past. They might also talk to you through a third party about their feelings. But there's someone came into the picture in September. I feel like there's someone that's going to talk on their behalf with you. Most potential outcome. Things will move slowly on and off. This person will eventually open up and ask you for a commitment. You're the one that's going to keep this person waiting because you have started getting more and more options in love now. You started getting a lot of offers better than this person. Three of Swords, there's an energy of you being confused and not wanting to give them a chance. So they lost you. That's the thing. That's the bad news for this person. Yes, there's a lot of anxiety, pain, hurt, anger for not listening to their gut and hurting you for no reason. This person is feeling bad. They're going through like deep, dark phase, dark night of the soul, as you say. I'm sensing there's an energy of someone that's coming between you and them. And I'm also seeing that this person feels like you were right. Now they can sense that what what uh you did was right or if they've been trusting someone else over you they found out that you were right and the other person was wrong libra energy I'm not seeing this person being mature enough to be able to take things forward with you even if they tell you that they have feelings strong feelings there's a strong attraction but there's something that will always keep you on the toes when it comes to this person's past they want forgiveness they want apologies i feel like you're going to forget this person they really like you and they want you to trust them Oh my gosh. The energy is high on this person's end. They know they made a big mistake and now they're trying to forget by what they did. Like whatever they did to you, they're trying to forget that. Yes, 
this person is in deep thoughts there's a lot of sadness anger they are disappointed with themselves for treating you bad for being that wrong person in your life they think that they missed the opportunity with you they should have gotten married to you that's what it is happening around you all right let's see some advice they could be 29 39 or older yes this person is healing i feel like they have understood they are coming out of the emotional baggage once you forgive this person proper closure will take place universe is in great support of you guys very much let's see the signs that's coming in you are an earth angel and you have a capability to heal people who are surrounded with you to heal yourself and heal people and you love nature all the natural things and i feel like you're heavily supported by angels okay so you could be attracting a capricorn a libra a taurus a capricorn again sun moon rising or venus let's see all signs aries is feeling left out rejected the taurus wants to give it another shot wants marriage the gemini is hesitant shy scared of you but wants you cancer very attracted the leo person sees you as a dream come true but they are still keeping it to themselves the leo is maintaining no contact the virgo is not interested the libra is very interested in marriage the scorpio wants to come towards you the proposal sagittarius wants relationship the capricorn is making efforts towards you aquarius wants marriage and pisces is very attracted to you but they're freaking out they are not able to speak a word they are not able to say how they feel whatever happened happened you accepted your fate i feel like whatever you meant to be it's coming for you you're going to have a strong stand in your life your career is rising a solid foundation is being laid you might travel i'm seeing more spiritual awakening um i feel like you're going for a higher study or upgrading your knowledge or your person that's coming into your life has specs spectacles um uh, so these could be in initials of you or your person's name v e i o u all right they may have c in their name as well someone's from canada ukraine india australia uganda venice italy ethiopia england america auckland germany tanzania pakistan albama so that's pretty much it scorpio i hope you've enjoyed this beautiful read do not forget to like share subscribe and comment come back for more see you back again Bye.